So hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do slide transitions in Premiere Pro. As always, you need these Sapphire plugins. So to get started, you want to put an adjustment layer on top of your two clips. I've got my two clips right here. They're both 30 frames long and my sequence is 29.97 frames per second, which is pretty much the same as 30 FPS. You want to make a cut on the adjustment layer between the two clips. So starting off with the first adjustment layer, add on the warp transform effect. We're going to make it start by sliding in from the left to the center. So I'm going to pull this slightly to the left uh, let's say around here maybe a bit more and then I'm going to change the wrap X and the wrap Y to reflect make sure you are at the beginning by the way and you want to keyframe the shift X Y head about halfway between the clips so for me it would be 15 keyframes so 5 10 15 reset it to what it was originally and we are going to graph it so click on the arrow pull this handle towards the left and then this one to the left so just about there make sure it's a little tight not too tight or too loose just around here so now as you can see it slides into the right head towards the end of the clip but just one keyframe back so not in the center just one keyframe back around here and we're going to pull the x value towards the left so it's going to push it towards the right and you should start to see a bit of the reflection i'm going to set mine to i think 650 let's see how that looks so i'm just going to graph this as well pull it to the right pull this down a little bit tight and by doing that as you can see it goes to the right first clip done we're going to do the second one now so what you want to do is do the same thing add on the effect keyframe the shift x y pull it towards the left i'm going to do 1350 which does seem like a lot but I will explain as to why later. Anyways, once again, set them to reflect, head towards the center, so 5, 10, 15, reset, and also graph, all the way to the left, and a bit to the left as well. Except the thing is, when I do play it back, you can see it looks a little bit stiff. If you want the impact to be a little bit stronger, what you want to do is head back to the first frame of the second clip, and if I do zoom in onto the keyframes, you see this bar over here, what you want to do is just pull this up, so just click and hold it all the way up, let go, just to see where it's at so as you can see it's almost above the bump i'm going to keep pulling it up until it's almost reaching the bump so as i keep doing it it should reach it so just about there maybe a little bit more about there if that makes it look a little bit too stiff then what you can do is just pull it down a little bit more so i'm just going to pull it down let's say around there and that looks all right i mean it could be smoother so i'm just going to pull it down a little bit more i would say around there and now if i do play it back you can see i've got a really impactful slide also i did not realize this but i've been doing it on the clip itself it doesn't make a big difference but i do recommend using adjustment layers since it makes things a little bit more simple especially if you are using multiple effects it's best if it's on one adjustment layer and not the clip itself if you've done it on the clip then that is completely fine all you need to do is just right click on the effect and click on cut head over to the adjustment layer and then just right click over here, click on paste, and now it's on the adjustment layer. To finish it off, I'm just going to pull it to the right a little, around 650, and I'm just going to graph this as well. And there you go, that's all you need to do. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and I will see you next time. So yeah, peace.